to the cabin. The snow's all gone. Just been doing a lot of tidying up this weekend. And uh, unfortunately, if you look up at the big wind turbine, it's missing one of the blades. You can see it's one of the blades off the top. on the end. Luckily when it went flying off nobody was struck by it. Next step is to lower the wind turbine and up top there get a pulley and that's going to the wind turbine and out to the bugle and further up there's another pulley and wind turbine. So by putting the ropes on this side, the wind turbine, the wind turbine is right here where my finger would be. It can always lean against these ropes, it's like a guide. So we'll see how it goes. good. Nice controlled lower. Now you can see where the other blade was. It's funny that the nuts are still on and everything. I guess the piece is shattered inside. This one's already removed by mother nature. And then I'm going to take this blade off here this blade off here so I'm just gonna run three blades hopefully that might get the RPMs up higher I think what I might do is since it's down I'm gonna give it a quick little maintenance and then I'll raise it back up here's the blades I took three of the blades off actually mother nature took one blade off I took two off so I'm gonna go with three the only thing now is these blades are 22 inches long. Let's see how chipped up they are at the end here. Like this, this is a good one. This one here is missing a chunk there. And this one over here is here. So what I did, I want all these blades the exact same length. So I measure from here to this part here. So that's where it is here. So I'm going to be cutting some off because I'd rather have them the same length than odd lengths and then have some extra vibration or something else exciting going on and have it blow apart. So This is the pole that I was messing around with before. I cut it down. I think it's about uh, 40 feet long. I cut a groove in the 6x6 here. Another groove in there. And then I put cut a 3 quarter inch hole through this log. Stuck this threaded rod in and it's just going to sit in here. So I gave the wind turbine a coat of black paint. Wouldn't hurt if I blasted a couple more times but and then I put some grease down on the bottom here. That's on the, uh, the shaft, the one inch shaft. Now the one inch shaft fits nicely inside the water pipe I got here. There's more grease inside. Just got a hose clamp there. Then I put a bolt right through. It's underneath there. It's coming through there. Put a little 
pulley on it here so I can add some string to it. So if I want to make like run a flag up, I can do that. So now I'm just going to put it in to the shaft, tighten it up. Now the next step is I'm going to give it another blast of paint. See a couple on the on the tail there and up by the the pivot part. So I was unwinding the electrical wire and I I pull off this duct tape to see what it was like in the connectors and I found this one loose or well disconnected. So I'm embarrassed to say the reason why the wind turbine wasn't doing anything was this wire was disconnected. So I'll have to connect it back together put some proper tape over it, some electrician tape, and then I'll have to rig it in a way that there's no strain on it and it doesn't pull it apart in the future. So I couldn't have figured it out unless I took it down, but anyway, we'll go from there. Now up on the support posts of the pulley, it's 23 feet up in the air. Then with the tape measure, I measured 23 feet to there. So I gave some tension and it just didn't feel right. So it's starting to rain. I don't want to rush through this, have something break, have this come down and go crunch. So I'm going to pack this up for now and probably go get a heavier duty rope here. I saw this whole beam was just flexing. I'm just not comfortable with that. So can don't have the wind turbine up today. That's gonna have to be another weekend, but I'd rather do it right and do it safely. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.